Hi there, my name's Sarah Bowen. I'm the artist behind Tiny Things by Bowen, and I'm really excited that you're here to do some crafting with me today. I also have a friend here. Her name is... Ramona. Ramona is here to help me. We are going to be doing some drawing today. We're gonna to make these awesome animals out of basic shapes, and then we're gonna color Ooh. them in with what we call stippling. Do you know what stippling means? Stippling means they're polka dots to color in. That is so smart. So we're going to be coloring with polka dots. So the only materials that you're going to need today are a piece of paper and some markers. Do you have that, Ramona? Excellent. She is ready to go. All right. So No black. No black. You do have a black here, and I noticed that it's topples off because sometimes we forget to put it on. But I think it still works, so it'll be okay. You want to get ready with it? All right, so actually, before we even start coloring, we're going to fold our paper into quarters. That means four pieces. I can't. You can do it with me. Here, yeah, you can set your marker down. Excellent. Now fold it in half like this. Good job. Now I'm gonna put a little crease in it like that. Yeah, nice. Now fold it in half this way. Yeah. So it's like we did two oh. hamburger folds. So let's see, almost we take the top and make it touch the bottom. Now squish it down. There you go. All right, if you open it back up, how many spaces do we have to work with? One, one, four. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Does yours look like that too? Okay, let's see. Is that four? One, two, three, four. Yeah. Excellent. We are ready to go. All right. So I'm going to get my black marker. You've got yours there. And we're going to start with this tiger. Okay. So we're going to make... So is it right here? Yes, it's right there. So we're going to start in one of our spaces and we're going to make a circle. I know how to make a circle. Ooh, good job. Nice. All right, that's our little tiger's head. Now can we make a little, like, half circle for his little ears? Awesome. And now down here for his big snoot, this little part of the tiger's face, can you do that circle? Awesome. Now we're going to put a triangle right on top of that circle for his big nose. Good job. All right, now let's get two little circles for eyes. And let's add, see how we put triangles around the outside for his stripes? Yeah. Let's put some stripes on there. You can do as many as you want. I'm going to put them all the way around his head. I want to leave it like this. Nice, that looks cool. All right, now let's put a little line for his mouth. Ooh, put some on top of his head there. So I put a little line right here for his mouth. Good. And maybe some little polka dots where the whiskers are going to come out. Awesome. And then I'm going to draw whoosh, whoosh, some lines for his whiskers. Good job. And I think the only thing we have left to do on the tiger is to finish his ears. Let's put a little triangle in there. And then if you want to put any little triangles on the outside for his stripes, if you want his ears to have stripes, you can add a couple little triangles there. I want just one and color it. Nice. Okay. So we made a really cool tiger. Way to go. And those were just basic shapes, right? That was kind of easy. All right. Let's go ahead and draw all of our little animals before we start coloring them in. So which one do you want to do next, Ramona? The colorful snake. Ooh, the snake. Awesome. Do you know how to draw a snake? Let's see it. Okay, so we add a little head like this, then we add a squiggle. Squiggle. And another squiggle and attach it and then add its little tail right here. Awesome. Then let's do its eyes. Give it some eyes. Is it missing anything? Then let's... We should put a tongue on there. Then let's do the tongue. Okay, good job. Look at us. High five. That's an excellent snake. Oh, oh, we missed. There you go. All right, which one should we do next? 
Mm, I think the turtle. Ooh, the turtle's my favorite. All right, so Ooh, I love water. turtles too. Yeah, yay, yay, turtles. All right, so we're gonna start with a big circle, just like that tiger. Nice, and now we're gonna put a little head on there. It's like a half of a circle. Okay. Up here. Okay. Awesome. And then some little half circle feet around the outside. It's kind of like you're drawing a C onto the body. And then what shape is his tail? A triangle. Ooh, put a little triangle on the bottom. And then what about these shapes inside of his shell? Circle. Ooh, she's on it. Circles. I'm going to put one in the middle and then just fill in some space around it. I want to do it like this. Ooh, cool. I want to do some, some of them black. Ooh, she's going to make some of her circles on her shell black. All right, what about eyes? Do we need some little eyes in there? Awesome. So we've got a turtle, a tiger, a snake, and now we have a giraffe left over. So let's start with a, oh, she's going to start with the neck. Awesome. So here's a couple of lines for his neck. And then we're going to do an oval for his head. Good. And then I'm just going to put like a little line like that, like an arch, kind of like a rainbow going through for his big nose. And then some little lines for his nostrils where it breathes. Good job, Ramona. And then giraffes have ears and horns. So I'm going to give them little ears. And then these little horns, they go up and then they have a little ball on the end like that. Ooh, she colored in her horns. So I'm going to give them a couple little eyes. And then giraffes have spots, right? Right. Right, so let's make some little spaces, but I'm not going to color my spots in. I'm going to do brown stippling later. So I'm going to put some little spots on his neck, maybe one on his head, mm -hmm. like that. We're going to give him some spots. Ooh, cool. Nice. Awesome. What about, yeah, she's going to give him some spots on his neck. And then I think we're pretty much ready to color. So let me ask you, Ramona, on our turtle here, if I show my camera friends way over there, if they look at this turtle, I think they probably think it's all green. But you and I know up close, what color are these? Um, they're yellow and blue. Yeah, I did yellow and blue dots here. So from far away, it looks like they're combined to make green. So if you wanted to do, what, do you know what two colors make orange? Um, this one's just orange, but if you wanted, you could do red and yellow and turn it into orange. So if you ever want to mix colors while you're stippling, ooh, you can I, combine them. I asked them. questions about it. Yeah? What, what does orange and blue make? Ooh, orange and blue is going to make like a brown. I, I like red and purple. Ooh, red and purple is going to make like a really bright purpley color. Ooh. I know. So we could play around with maybe combining some colors with our polka dots. Okay. That's kind of what I did with this snake here. He's a well, rainbow. I, I know what happens if we put white with every color. It will turn light. Ooh, we can lighten colors with white. That is an excellent observation. It doesn't really work super good with markers though, does it? No, but it would work with paint. All right, so which one are you going to color first, Ramona? I'm going to color the snake. Okay, so... I like the snake because I want to color this. Ooh, you want to do rainbow like I did? Okay. Okay. So I want to do... <laughs> I want to do it in different order. Ooh, she's going to do rainbow but in a different order. That's cool. I'm going to do pink. So let's try it with dots. So you're coloring in, but what if we did this? Watch this, Ramona. I want to do color in this mm. and, we'll, and do small spots for the body. Gotcha. She chose to color in the tongue and then stipple the body. I'm going to stipple my tongue like this with red. I'm just going to do a bunch of little dots. Okay. So next is green. Ooh, she's going to do green next. I think I'll do orange next. Ooh, look at those stipplings that she's doing. Good job. 
And if you push a little bit harder with the marker, your little dots get a little bit bigger, right? Yeah. See if you can push a little harder and make your dots a little bigger. That way it doesn't take so much time to fill in your space. I decided to do these four on one page because when you do one big one all together, it takes a long time. So I like it to do little ones. I'm going to do it really fast, like this. Whoa. Ramona's a speed machine. Ooh, so she finished the head. She colored that green. What are you going to do next? I'm going to do a little bit more pink on this. Whoa, she's using pink as her next color. I'm doing yellow as mine. And I'm putting some yellows over where the oranges are. And it's kind of like it makes it fade from orange to yellow. I want to do red next. Ooh, Ramona's doing red. If I'm doing a real rainbow order, I wonder what comes after. Do you know on this one what I should do next? Green. <gasps> green. You're so smart. All right, so my next color in my rainbow is green. And I'll leave my colors right here so if anybody's not sure what order the rainbow goes in, you'll be able to check it out. Well, I already know, but I wanted to do in this order. Oh, yeah. I love that you're being creative and just going with your own ideas. That's super cool. How did you learn the colors of the rainbow? How do you remember them? Um, I remember because I watched, because I know. Oh, you just memorized it, huh? Yeah, I know it in my brain, so. Nice. It's red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, indigo. Good job. That's awesome. There's a saying, but we pretend it's somebody's name. It's Roy G. Biv because it's the colors. So it's R for I know red. That. You know that one too? Man, you just know all the things. So my next one's blue because Ramona said that's what comes after green. How do you feel about coloring with dots? That, that's awesome. I wish I could color with dots, but I didn't think of that. Oh, so now you know. Now you have another art style that you could do whenever you wanted. Does it take patience? Is it kind of slow? I want to do, do actually the end of the tail, coloring and spots. Coloring and spots? Whoa, she's combining different styles of art. It's going to be so cool and so original. I'm going to do purple for the end and pink. Nice. I've got to the end of my snake too, so I'm going to do him. I'm going to finish it up with pink as well. I think it does take a special kind of patience to color with dots. You've got to take your time. Hmm. Which one are you going to color after that one when you're done? I'm going to color the turtle. Ooh. I'm going to color it my favorite color. What's your favorite color? Purple and pink. Nice. I really like purple too. Did you know that? Mm -mm. Did you have guessed by what color my hair is? Purple. Oh, it's purple. Yay for purple. So she's going to do a purple turtle. I think I'll do. I like the Purple idea. and pink turtle. Purple and pink. Okay, I'm going to go with it. I like it. I like that you're using your creative freedom to just make it up. I think oh. I'm going to do... Purple and pink and blue for my turtle. Ooh, I want to do three colors too. It's red. Ooh, red, nice. Do you know which colors are warm colors and which colors are cool colors? Ooh, blue is a cool color. That is correct. And pink is a pretty warm color. Pretty warm? It is pretty warm. That's true. So our warm colors are colors that you might see in fire, like orange and red and yellow. And then our cool colors are maybe like what you think of with water. So blue and green and even purple. That's a cool color. Well, what about white? That's a cool color and a really cold color. Bird. Cool bird. White and black are both their own things. They're like neutral kind of. They're not really warm or cold. Yeah, I know that neutral is not warm or cold. Do you know it's not a warm or cold one? What? It's 
Brown. Ooh, brown's kind of like a mixture of all the colors together, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Brown is not cool or cold or cool or actually warm one. It's actually a, a just, just. Is it neutral like black? Yeah, neutral like brown. Interesting. Ooh, so I'm combining my purple and pink together in the same spot. If we hold it far away, what's it going to look like, you think? I think it's going to look like... like maybe like a light purple? Yeah. Yeah. So if you're... Because the light is here. That's true. That's true. So if you are playing around with the stippling and you maybe want to combine a couple of colors and see what it looks like, Try looking at it from far away because that's going to help the colors combine. I'm going to make a little bit more. I'm going to make some. I forgot to make some orange for my snake. Ooh, so she's combining a little bit of orange with her pink. Very cool. It's almost like your snake is striping. I'm going to color my turtle's feet mm. and hands and head blue. Okay, I'm going to draw it actually a little orange smiley face. Nice. The turtle's got a little orange smiley face. Thank I want to do a little stripe here. Yeah. I want to do, do it like that. So, okay, so I'm going to... And I see that your markers don't have a yellow, so if you need to borrow a yellow, you can use mine. Ooh, oh. my turtle's almost done. How's your turtle doing? Yeah. Good. Looking good? Whoa, so colorful. I love the polka dots on his feet. Very cool. Yours kind of looks like a sea turtle. Yeah. It's got little clippers. Awesome. Which one should we do next? Okay, I'm not finished. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. I should practice my patience, too. I know all about patience. Good job. I know the patience songs of daddy, of daddy's, actually, mom. Oh, very cool. Her, dad, my dad's mom is named Lolly. Yeah, and Lolly taught you a song about patience? Yeah. That's cool. Do you remember it? Yeah. Okay, tell us. Patience. Oh, I, I can't. I kind of don't remember it. That's fair. Things are easy to forget. I decided that I was going to do my tiger next. So I'm coloring his stripes and his little nose Look, first. I'm already done, but I, I want to make a heart on the yellow. Ooh, very cool. She's decorating her turtle, giving him a little heart on his head. Very cool. I'm going, here you go. Oh, thank you. I'm going to make it pink. She's coloring in the heart pink. And I am working on making my speckly little tiger. Ooh, I want to make my tiger some color that's different. I want to make it a really special picture. Ooh, <laughs> more creative than what we see in real life, huh? Yeah, I love art because you can just make it up and say, you know what, this tiger is pink. And I make it pink because that's my favorite color. Very cool. I would be so excited if I saw a pink tiger in real life. That would be so cool. Uh, uh, do you know, do you know which, do, do you know why I like pink? Why? Because they have pink on it. You do have pink in your tie-dye. Have you ever done tie-dyeing before? Yeah. Ooh, that's cool. I wonder how many of our friends watching this have tried tie-dyeing before. Ooh, it's mommy's friends. Oh, very cool. I think tie-dyeing is a lot of fun. Yeah, I love tie-dyeing. And you Even never know what it's it going to turn out like. Sometimes it looks totally different than what you thought. Yeah. Ooh. So I colored in my tiger with all these little dots and you've really inspired me to do something wild with it. I think instead of letting his snoot stay white, I'll make it 
yellow. Let me give him a little yellow face, a little yellow mouth. Why not, right? Ooh, I like your pink tiger. Okay, so next I'm going to... Maybe I'll color in those ears yellow too. Wait when I'm making a stripe purple. Ooh, her tiger stripes are purple. That sounds like the coolest tiger ever. I love that. And she's combining stippling and coloring to make a really unique piece of art. Ooh, so let's see. So since she colored her tiger pink, I think I'll make my giraffe a unique color too. What color should my giraffe be? Um, it will be, I think it'll be orange and red. Orange and red? Whoa. Okay, so we're going to very... And do, do, the, do the horns actually blue? Blue. All right. We've got orange, red, and blue. So I accidentally colored on the orange. Yeah. That's okay, that happens, right? That's why we can wash markers off. They're washable. All right, so I'm gonna use two warm colors and a cool color for my giraffe. Thanks to Ramona's inspiration. What I color have... is your giraffe gonna be? Ooh, I think it's going to be red and purple. Ooh, red and purple, very cool. Actually, there's one more color for can you think of other ways to use stippling? What other things could you draw in stipple? I think lines. Oh, you could do like little lines and dots. Oh, that's lines cool. Lines and dots. Lines and dots. I'm going to do a rainbow tiger. She's turning her tiger rainbow. I'm so curious to see what color you decided to color all of your animals at home. I wonder if they were like real life colors, like these ones, or if they were wild and fun, like these ones and all of Ramona's. Look. Wow, I like his pink eyes. But I'm going to do this. Oh, and a little pink snoot. No, this is red eyes. Oh, red eyes, red eyes, pink snoot. Have you seen the tigers at the zoo? I did. They're pretty cool. If you haven't been to the Tulsa Zoo lately, if you go now, the tiger has a new place to live and you can walk above your head. It's really awesome and kind of scary. Maybe just a little bit scary. I'm going to do three colors too. Three colors also. I love that. I'm working on my red spots. Well, am I going to add some Ooh, she's giving her Cool giraffe, some stripes. Even I'm going to add some antlers, some stripes. Whoa. And I, I accidentally did this. I guess they probably are called antlers and not horns, huh? Yeah, because they don't look like horns. Because, because only rhinoceros has horns. Because mm. they poke them. Do you know what the rhinoceros horns are made of? It's the same thing that your fingernails are made of and your hair, but it's really thick. And so they could use it to get you. Are you chewing on it to see what a rhinoceros horn would feel like? It would feel like really hard. I think so too. It'd be way harder than our fingernails. Try, try, try to feel my fingernails. That's okay. I can feel mine. Let's see. Let's squeeze it. Is it hard? Well, not as hard as the rhinoceros horn. Well, but it's made of the same stuff. Isn't that cool? Yes. Alrighty, I'm finishing up my little speckly giraffe nose. It kind of looks like he has chicken pox. Have you ever had chicken pox? Nope. <gasps> That's cool. Well, I did I once never... and it was itchy. Alright, I finished mine. I can't wait to see how Ramona's turns out. Have you abandoned, I'm going, have you I'm abandoned going to stippling? Do... I'm going to do it five colors. Whoa, her giraffe's going to be five colors. That is so cool, Ramona. How old are you, Ramona? Five. Five, just like how many colors her giraffe has. Very cool. Hmm. Mm. Let's finish up so we can say goodbye to our friends and they can go on coloring even more animals on their own. And you can tell that 
Ramona decided coloring was a little more easy than stippling. So if you decided that you didn't really like the dots, you just go ahead and color however you I feel like. I did a little bit of dots. Oh yeah, you did really cool dots. I really like them. But now your giraffe is all colors. You know, colored I... all the way in. You filled up your negative space. You know what that means? Yeah. What does that mean? It means that neg. It means that you have no holes and there's not negative space. Yeah, the negative space is like the paper color, right? And you colored in all of that white. Very good. Do you want to, are you done? Are you ready to show your final product? Well. Almost, almost. So if you made some really cool stippling animals and you want to share on the library's Facebook page, I would love to check out what you made. Thank you so much for joining us today. I look forward to seeing you next time. Let's show them what we made, Ramona. Here's mine. And I, I, let's see it. Hold it up so they can see. Well, and then, mine mine is better than yours. Oh, well, all art is really good, right? You want to put it so we can see your face too, like down here a little bit. There you go. You want to tell them bye and thanks for doing art with bye. us. Bye. Thanks for doing art with us. Thank you. Your art is great no matter what, I promise. We'll see you next time. And don't forget to click the like button down here. Bye.